bag it ain't. It's too late for that bullshit. You've never done that. You've never done that. Anybody that wants his wine, city of New Orleans is sinking more every day. You can look at the BP oil spill and know for a fact when you drill that low in the earth, which can, they don't, nobody knows what can happen if they happen to hit magma, which is at the core of the earth, if it caused global fishes or what. People just don't know a lot of things. And the fact of the matter is, BPR knew about this since March. They knew that the shutoff valve and the rubber uh, uh, membrane, as they call it, was disintegrating. They knew this and had a guy that wasn't even a professional guy to run a rig running the rig that caused this. Even Halliburton, which is not one of my favorite companies, who owns most of the penitentiaries across the world, who have delivered, I believe their company has now brought all of the convicts from around the world to this state in case of an emergency evacuation. I find this all very disgusting. I find that anybody who doesn't care about people and doesn't care about anything but greed, this is the, the code of the BP oil people. This is the code of the oil industry. The only reason we don't have battery powered cars and don't even aren't a slave to the oil business is the oil companies have all the money and they have every politician, no matter which party they belong to, the Bloods or the Crips, in their hip pocket. They've obviously had Mr. Salazar, a guy from the, the ministry that's in, his hip, they were in his hip pocket, and I'm sure more. And I feel thoroughly mad that so much has happened to it killing all the wildlife, the fish, all of the, the birds, everything that lives off of, the, the, the birds that can't even make a flight to the barrier islands to, to get enough energy to get to inland. All of the, the, the critters that are going to be dying in, from oil and methane gas, which nobody seems to talk too much about, the methane gas, which I, I'm sure is why New Orleans had an air alert the other day, and which, thank you, BP, for that. Oh, great. Anyway, it's a disgusting situation, and the only guy that showed me anything about caring about the people even with the president that I voted for, that didn't show that much care, but even there, BP had already taken the uh, workers and gave them $14 an hour that were from Lafouche parishes and Terrebonne parishes to go clean up the mess before President Obama got here. I find that highly offensive, as well as everything else that's happened since the oil spill, which I call oil gushes because it is still gushing and it's not a spill. A spill is a drop of something. A gusher is keeps erupting like a geyser. In Yellowstone National Park, we have geysers. That's what this oil spill is doing right this second. We need to have people like our NASA scientists on the case. Not BP oil scientists. We need people that care about Louisiana on the case. Where the Corps of Engineers, where anybody else that really don't work for us, but we need them anyway. I'm an angry citizen of the United States. I'm an angry citizen of the city of New Orleans, state of Louisiana. I'm an angry citizen, period.
and I don't think this is anything, any direction acceptable. All right? Yeah, yeah. All right, my nerd. I'm gonna my rides here. I'm gonna get e e jacket teeth from this fucking area. Have a blessed day, Thanks my dog. Thank Appreciate you, Buck. Yeah, you're right. All right. Be safe. In a little bit.